Hello, and welcome to episode 4 of Let's Play Minecraft. Uh, as you can tell in the last episode, we started mining this area out. We found some uh, two pieces of iron, as I can see. The lower bar, we had some iron smelting, and... Oh yeah. And I also mined th we also mined this area out. So now, next step, after I get up here, is one getting the iron I'd already had smelting and two continuing on and now I'm just gonna check how much stone I would need some more stone but that amount shall sustain me because I would like this episode to mark the beginning of the town that I plan on building so makeshift stairs, there's the water which I will get rid of now just gotta hop up and yes so boop and I, need but I don't need that torch got another torch right there so here it is up 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 uh. Very bad to get to the top. And do I have a shovel? Uh, yeah, I have a wood shovel. I could get rid of that, I guess. Just mine out all this gravel here. Just so it's a bit more clear where I am going. And maybe I can get some natural sunlight in. Cause then torches won't have as big as we used down here. During the day, of course, I'll have to use them at night, but whatever. So, I know, as anyone who's watched the first episode know, this is actually fairly close to both the house and the spawn. And there goes the shovel. But no, um, just a tip to anyone who plans on getting Minecraft for their own reason um, if it's your first time and you just don't know how to create like minecart tracks that can take you straight across across land yet then I would say keep your spawn keep your house and everything that you know goes with a house near spawn okay we should just sheep keep it near the spawn like I am now because I mean if you don't and you die in a cave somewhere and you don't know where to get how to get to it from your house and you didn't set up a beacon and and your house is also far away there's no way you're gonna be able to get back everything you just did so you're gonna have to start over again and hopefully find your old house again which is a pain in the butt. I know that from my own personal experience. Right, so I have no iron. I thought I had some iron going here. So put these two pieces in there. Um, yeah, so I don't have a chest, so I guess this will do. So now we should get one whole stack and a half stack yep whole and a half okay so just close the door in case it changes to night time or a sheep decides to wander in Ooh, yeah. I missed a cow I'm going to kill you Cause I want your head no don't don't y'all know at me Okay, so I remember I said starting from here on is the house that I will now continue making. Well, actually, just to make it simpler, I'll have it start here. There, and just so I can. So I step up to put the first one down. And 
Ta da! We now have the first real block. That'll take us to what will eventually be a city. Now, I'm still asking you guys to come up with a good name for the city. Because I'm not a very creative person. And I would not know what to call this town. Yeah, I'd probably name it something like completely stupid. So, it's your job. If you become a faithful viewer and you actually do help me come up with a name and as I was saying uh, first episode uh, I will hopefully get this onto a server of my own and that you guys can come join and you the helpful viewer shall become one of the first admins other than that are not myself or a member of the, my production group which hasn't been doing anything lately except for this and yeah that's not all we want to do is have me do like a hundred let's plays and then all of a sudden whip out like a Gary's Mod video in my opinion that would look really bad doing that so as you can sort of tell I'm actually trying to go for the outline right now and, and how oh yeah I guess they do count as full blocks technically okay so here 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 yep right on Ugh. Mess that up because I had to cough. So here, do, 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 do. one more. Yep, that's all I can do on this half. So this just continues along nicely. And tell that part done, I gotta sort of break it off again. Ah. Oh, no, one more. There. Now it so it breaks over to here. Then it comes right across. Up to right there. Then to there. And there. And there. Yeah, so oh, music. Yeah, music. So I will attempt to talk over this. If I find out I didn't do a good job, I'll put subtitles in for this part. But yeah, it's kind of uh, the music in this game. Uh, I know I've seen the music made by the guy who does this audio track he's actually he's really good at making his own songs so uh, and I just gotta say should Notch ever release a music of Minecraft thing I, I will honestly say this and kill this pig at the same time I'll probably be the first person to go buy it because it would be so epic I would probably listen to it all the damn time. And now we're going to find our way back up to the hut. Check out what this will end, what the basis of the city, although it's not complete, will look like. No platform here. And I've got to say, that'll be a pretty nicely sized city. The entrance to the city will probably start over here, because that's the only out jutting part of the lake. And also, um, if you guys have a plan, like, uh, turn this whole thing into a monster trap, where they'll get trapped, fall to their death, or drown, tell me about it. 
sorry, give me an example of how I could use that to benefit me, other than the fact that I'd probably have unlimited gunpowder, feathers, uh, arrows, and string to make bows. I'd like to know, what do you guys think I should do with this huge bunch of water? Should I leave it? Just because it could look pretty nice having a city about the water. Or should I remove it, dig down as far as I can go, swim up, and do it all over again so that the entire underneath the city is a giant monster trap, which will, oh, excuse me, uh, supply the city with necessary resources to kill mobs that we find walking around. And now the world is becoming dark at a very, very, very slow rate. And yes, I just said slow. I don't know why I said slow, though. So how much hide? Where, oh, there it is. I have enough to make shoes. I already have shoes. So that's not of any help to me. Huh. I would say I would go mining on trees, but the only tree I want to mine right now is this one. Because it can interfere with the building of the town. And that's not a good thing when you got this guy. Now I'm doing as fast as I can. I really don't want to walk up on me. The creep will be helpful, but. Yeah, it's better to not die when you're trying to play around in this. It's really not fun to say, like, hey, look at me, I'm dead. Because I was, was not paying attention to what I was doing. And also, um, apparently, with... Oh god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Run away. See, that, uh, what I was going to say before the skeleton interrupted, if you put torches... Oh my god, he's following me. Or there's another one on the hill. I really hope there's no skeletons near my house. But no, um... Oh, no, he went through the water, that sneaky bastard. And now I'm in the water. Uh, no. For, as I was going to say, before the skeleton interrupted twice, you little bastard. Um... What's that? chicken okay okay screw this I'm not doing with the damn skeleton trying to shoot arrows in my head and I just failed oh god oh god okay I'm safe okay what I was going to say was putting torches around areas actually benefit you in the fact that uh, there's a program that Notch imported or put in sorry to the game that makes it so that one light so during the day monsters can't spawn on the earth they can spawn down dungeons for all we care because they can't get to you if, unless you open up that dungeon and usually they'll die but <laughs> and um with torches during the night monsters can't spawn like that zombie or the spider or whatever so usually uh minecraft servers will <laughs> for now there's a thing going on where you type give slash give and then some code or something and you'll get an item but that's not very good because if you just get items by typing a code in that's not very minecrafty that's just being a douche and please note I am actually like constantly glancing at my time instead of walking around this damn tree because I went over the last time I ended up cutting it off and all I was basically doing was going down to that cave and continuing to mine it out a bit so you can say I did that off camera before this episode started so um we got 20 seconds left so I'll stop it here just say Hope you guys are enjoying watching me run from skeletons, and see you next time.